Dr. Jesse Sanders, owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. Today we'll be discussing which filter option is best for your aquarium or fish tank. So when it comes to filters, there are many, many different options, but unfortunately a lot of them don't come with the greatest filters. So we have our exhibits A and B and C. So anything that is made of this flossy material with these sad little carbon pellets in them, get rid of it. You don't need it. It's just going to decompose quicker. And then we have the half sponge, half plastic options. These are about as useful as the last two. Get rid of those as well. So now we're coming down to our nice, pretty little sponges. So this, if you watch some of our other videos, this is a similar sponge to what I have. This one that I can see through, um, yeah, no, I don't think so. So these little sponges right here, these are the best for your fish tank or aquarium. If it's the wrong size, you can buy a bigger one and cut it down to the right size. Um, white, black, your bacteria don't care what color it is. Um, what's really important about this is that it's very dense material. So unlike that, you know, see-through one that I threw away, this provides a lot of nooks and crannies for your beneficial bacteria to hang out and be colonized. So when you're cleaning these sponges, it's best just to make sure that the water can flow through. Because again, it has to make contact with all these little holes. So if you got a bunch of dead bacteria in there, it's just going to go around the sponge and then your water is not going to be filtered. So like I'm going to demonstrate in our cleaning video, which is linked below, we take this sponge, put it in our bucket of wastewater, squeeze it out a couple times, and that's it. Again, same one. I think that video that I made was two, three years ago. Um, still have the same sponge. Still the same one. Um, if you want to take one of these, and again, we're, we're getting rid of this because these are just made to deteriorate and are a complete waste of time and money. Um, what you can do is just cut this on the longitudinal axis. It'll fold out and it'll be exactly the same size and it will last you forever. These, I know they say replace them every three months. Don't do it. These are just gonna break down every three months. So again, bye-bye. So these guys, again, I don't care what color it is, but these nice dense sponges, this is what you want to put in your aquarium filter. If this is the right size, cut it to the right size and your fish will thank you. So again, these two are the best aquarium filters to put into your tank. Um, you really don't need the carbon. Um, I'm sure a lot of people can add it. You don't have to with most of the tap water that we have today. Um, if anything, you can run a carbon filter through your tap water before you treat it and put it into your tank. And that way you don't have to have it in there all the time. Um, zeolite cubes, the little tiny um, pieces are fine too. Again, it's nice porous material for good bacteria to lurk. Um, does lose its, you know, uh, ammonia absorbing power after a while. Um, if you go on their website, you can figure out how to reactivate that. So thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you all go out and buy these little sponges and get rid of the rest of them. Um, hopefully you can return them to the store because again, you don't need to replace them ever ever. Same sponge. Almost 10 years now. So these guys are awesome. Thank you. For help with your fish, please visit the American Association of Fish Veterinarians at fishvets.org or the World Aquatic Veterinary Medical Association at wavma.org.